Hi, I'm Greg Rizzer, lead designer for Dante's Inferno, Trials of St. Lucia. Today we're going to show you how to play a trial and give you some great combat tips. After you enter Play Online Trials, you will see that you can play a single player, join a two-player trial, or host a two-player trial. Use the R1 and L1 buttons to move between these options. The second row will show you different categories of trials you may play. Community trials are trials that are created and uploaded by fans like you. EA trials are created by the development team here at EA. If you beat all these trials, you'll earn achievements or trophies. My Trials gives you an easy way to find all the trials that you have created and uploaded. Finding a trial to play is easy. Scroll through the list or use the filter and sorts button to find the kinds of trials you want to play. For more information about a trial, press the Trial Info button and see how many modes, arenas, and enemies you will face. The community will vote on which trials have the highest quality, and after you play a trial, you'll get to vote on it as well. On the far right of the screen is the medal for that trial. Medals range from bronze to platinum and are awarded for each trial you complete. Go ahead and select any single player trial and enjoy the battle. When you play a trial, the mode for each wave will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. Remember, you don't just lose a life if you die in combat. Stay alert and follow the rules of each wave in order to avoid losing all your lives before the trial is over. Here are some more general tips for playing trials. Locate any health and mana fountains in an arena and keep the lowest difficulty enemy alive to gather up the goodies before killing him. I recommend you use the Divine Armor magic for more difficult trials. This restores your health and makes you immune to damage while it is active. Study the enemies and learn which ones to go after first. For example, the heretic casts a spell that makes ranged attacks ineffective. Make sure to take him out first to allow your ranged attacks to work on all subsequent enemies. Here are some thoughts on playing two-player cooperative trials online. When you host a trial, you can opt to make it public or private, with private matches being visible only to your friends. When you are playing a co-op trial, remember that any health or mana orbs that are given out for killing enemies will be split between you and your partner. However, any health or mana that is given out from fountains will only go to the character that used that fountain. During a two-player trial, if either player runs out of lives, you will both fail the trial, so make sure you help each other out. When you're playing modes like Don't Kill the Prisoner in two-player, have one player distract the prisoner while the other player kills off the other enemies in that wave. Save up your boost for longer trials. Check your buddy's health bar often and remind him when he needs health. If either character dies, you'll both have to start the wave over. When you have beaten a trial, congratulations. You will see the medal you've won and perhaps a personal victory message from the trial's creator. You will be able to replay a trial right away, add or remove it from your favorites list, or even give the trial a rating. Don't rate the trial the first time you play it. Give it a few playthroughs before casting your vote. The first time you complete a trial, you will earn that trial's point score. You can earn much greater point payouts by playing the trial more times until you have reached a milestone. Milestones are awarded at 1, 5, 10, 20, and 35 times. Points are added to your hero sheet and are tracked on the leaderboards. If you want to be the best, you can get there quicker by using the milestone system. And finally, be sure to check the leaderboards occasionally to see how you are ranking amongst other Dante's Inferno players. Thanks. We hope you enjoy playing.